Okay, so our next guest starred is Rudy Huxtable, the adorable youngest sibling of the ever popular Cosby Show, which is being honored at the ninth annual TV Land Awards later this month. Please welcome the very beautiful Keisha Knight Pulliam. <laughs> I love your hookup, your you. nails, the whole bit. Thank you. You have grown up to be such a nice young lady. Like, you know, I've been following you as an adult, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the way you carry yourself, like a, like a real lady. I know you went to college I as opposed to- graduated from Spelman. Graduated from Spelman. What did you major in when you were in college? I was a sociology major with a concentration in film. Um, Spelman didn't technically have a film major, but um, it's part of the Atlanta University Center, which is kind of a conglomerate of schools. Uh -huh. So I was able, able to take mass comm and all my film classes at Clark Atlanta University, same way Spike Lee did it when he was at Morehouse. Uh -huh. So um, I, I still got the education. Good for you. And, and, um, I love your hair. Thank you. And it's a, it's a swinging and gorgeous and beautiful. I remember when, as Rudy <laughs> Huxtable, you had the, the puffs. Oh, like oh that. my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was back before we had good flat irons and so forth and so uh -huh. on. And they used to just kind of like snatch it back, blow it dry, and pull it in this big. And yeah. that's what it was. Yes. Now, who was on the set with you? Uh, did you have, uh, like, uh, your mother or your father, or was it that you had managers and agents always? No, there? no, my parents were on the set with me. They kind of took turns and rotated. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they, they came with me every day, and I think that's really important because you still have to raise your children, and, you know, especially in this industry. You right. have to be present and make sure that you are an advocate for them and protect them. Well, it seems like the Cosby Show, the, the set, you know, I know that you guys filmed over in Queens at the mm -hmm. Kaufman Astoria Studios. We filmed in Brooklyn for a while, then we moved to Queens. Yeah, and um, it seems as though Bill Cosby had a real good handle on the structure of having so many children on the set, and then you guys mm -hmm. within your own families. I know Malcolm Jamal Warner's been here before, and I've had conversations with some of the others. Mm -hmm. And you're all like such level-headed kids. I mean, I'm thankful. I think all of us kind of learned from the mistakes that others had made before us, yeah. and um, it was a great environment, you know, with Mr. Cosby advocating education, and, you know, all of us did go to college to some level. I don't remember if Malcolm finished, but Tempest did. Um, so, and I think filming here in New York was a really, really big difference. Yeah. Because we were one of the first shows, the sitcoms, to do that. Most shows filmed out in L.A., which is a very, very different environment. Very different. Um, so I think just being, you know, in New York, that the, the energy of the city is yeah. a lot more grounded anyway. So it definitely helped. Good. So, you know, um, you're living in L.A. now? No, I live. I have a home in L.A., but Atlanta is my primary residence. Because, That's home. Because you're working on House of Pain. Yeah, I've been on Tyler Perry's House of Pain for the last... Um, we've been filming. I, 97 was the first episode that I filmed with them, and now I'm married and have baby on the show. You're married to Lance Gross on the show. Yeah. There was a rumor that you guys were getting it in in <laughs> real life. Do you remember that rumor? Uh, they always have a rumor about someone. You, you take a picture with them and you're, you're dating them. So but yeah. Lance is a sweetheart, absolute sweetheart. Uh, are you dating? Do you do you have a boyfriend? Are you engaged? You know I like no, to, uh, you know. No, 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 I'm not engaged. Uh huh. No. Yeah, that's but, not uh, even the right finger. You uh, don't even want to be engaged. <laughs> you don't even it's care. <laughs> well, I like diamonds. It doesn't have to be an engagement ring. It's my birthstone too. So. Oh, um, good for you. But <laughs> so your birthday's in April this month. Yes, it is. Happy birthday, April 9th. Oh, happy birthday! You just celebrated. Well. You know, and, and how old? You're like in your 30s at this I'm, point, I'm right? I'm 32. Have you ever been in love? Um, of course. I mean, by this point, you've been in love a couple times. Well, <laughs> And know. then you learn from each one of them and realize, ooh, that was great, but that was not who I needed to keep. Yeah. So, it's okay. You know, it's a learning experience. And, yes. you know, definitely I want to get married and have children and, and do all that, but I'm patient. I'm waiting for the right ones. So. Well, sir, there's no rush. So now, everybody, Keisha... By the way, is Knight your middle name, or is it, where does your, where does the mix of your name come from? My mother's maiden name is Knight. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. It's a very distinguished name. Well, Keisha I thank Knight. you. Put I must on. say I like it. I do. <laughs> so, you guys, 
Keisha is a fashionista, and she redid her closet to accommodate her vast shoe and handbag collection. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing pictures, because let's look at it and you tell us about what we're seeing here. Well, this is my clothes closet. That's actually one side. On the other side, they're more clothes, too. Uh -huh. But I remodeled my house, and I was like, you know what? I want just a layer of girliness, just a girly palette. Look at the so shoes! <laughs> I see Louis Vuitton boxes and red bottoms and... You know I what? have a problem. I mean, some people, people collect what they collect. I don't knock them, but this is my collection, and I love it. This is... <laughs> you know what I didn't see? Uh, I didn't see sneakers or Uggs. Oh, those are upstairs. Oh, I... <laughs> I have two levels, and what happened was my clo I remodeled my home, and my closet was really small. Yes. And because my house, my room sits on the corner of the house, uh -huh. um, the only way I could go is, like, I need a bigger closet, so I went down into the basement. Love so it. So I put a stairwell, so the first, um, they didn't show you a picture of that, but the first level are, like, all my sneakers and all of my workout clothes and, like, folded clothes and drawers and Good. campers and all that. I'm a I'm an organizational. Yeah, freak well, and you also. and you live by yourself. <laughs> I do. And you're still making residual money from the Cosby's. So, you, so you, uh, you, I mean, I'm not bragging for you, but I'm talking about you. Thank the, you. The girl's got money, and she's a bachelorette, and she's single and ready to mingle. Single. Yes. <laughs> and your mom, Denise. Hi, Miss.